Hi, this is a quick video to help out with uh, Everyday Math Homelink 7.2 and we're talking about multiplication here and um, specifically factors and products. So here we have this table here. The first thing we need to do is fill this out and it has factors and products on this table. So to quickly review, if you have any kind of multiplication problem, maybe 6 times 5 for example, these two numbers here are the factors. And when you put them together, you have what's called the product. So those are just the words we use to describe uh, multiplication equations. Factors and the product. So with our chart here, we just need to fill in the different factors and products. And here we have 3 and 5. And we know 3 times 5 is 15. So that one is pretty simple. And when you have two factors, that one will be the easiest one, I think. So for example, what's 4 times 10? The answer is 40. So you just write 40 over here. Um, what is 8 times 8? Think about that. You need to write the answer here. When you have two factors, you should be able to do those pretty easily. When you have one factor and a product, though, you need to think a little bit uh, more about what the other factor would be. So here we have 7 as one factor and 14 as the product. So let's take a look at that. Think about it like this. 7 times what equals 14? And if you don't know, you have no idea, just try a number. So what if we put 1? 7 times 1 is 7, so that won't work. 7 times 2 is 14. There it is. The other factor is 2. Okay, how about this one? 9 times what equals 45? Now you may know your math facts and you know the answer to that or you may need to just try and think about different numbers and see which one works or maybe if you're familiar with fact families you'll know the division fact like this and that will be able to give you the answer here now after you do that you're gonna have to do this second part uh, write what you know about the products when you multiply by one so let's think about some um, products when we multiply by one I'll write a few so what's happening when we multiply by 1? One of the factors is 1. What's happening to the other factor? So just write that in. And you can just write it like this. When I multiply by 1, describe what happens. Okay, what's happening? Same thing when we multiply by 0. What's happening when we multiply by 0? So you can write, you may need to write smaller. When I multiply by 0, whatever happens. Describe that. And then the last one, write what you know about facts with square products. Okay, this is yesterday's lesson so you may need to review that but can you explain facts with square products and what that is. One last thing, uh, for this one you have a little bit of addition and subtraction practice. These are bigger numbers now and we're making ballpark estimates for bigger numbers. Both of these numbers are four-digit numbers, so I think for this one, we could just round to the nearest thousand. So we would do down here, the nearest thousand is 7,201 is 7,000. This one is just a few away from 7,000. So your ballpark estimate is going to be this number here, whatever you figure out. Over here, though, we've got one number is four digits, one number is three digits. So let's round this one to the nearest hundred. So we'll have 3,623 is closest to 3,600. 457 is closest to 500 for the nearest hundred. So you can do the calculation, but you'd have this. And if you know 36 minus 5, you can do the extension fact. Over here, if you know 7 plus 7, you can do the extension fact to figure out your ballpark estimate. And then, <clears throat> again, on the back of this page, 
please solve these to any way that you want to, as long as you can get the right way. Or if you really want to double check your work, you can do it two ways and see if you get the same answer and compare it to your estimate. That's it. Thank you.